One, two, three, four. A limited. I'll show what real competition is. Who's gonna get this Phoenix Pratt boy? The woman who can cook. I know how to turn a guy on. That's what this is all about. Move. I was this close to handing her a dollar bill. And ride. Kathleen enjoyed being on the stool too much. Bye bye, loser. Felt a little tongue. I felt like I was watching a live porn out. Three get the X, one gets the date. One word for her personality in the bedroom missionary. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> My name's Luke. I'm a business major at ASU. I'm a part-time bartender, and uh, my fraternity brothers, Cap Sig, love to go down there and reap the benefits of that. My ideal woman would be somebody that can hang out with all my friends, just hang out like one of the guys. When I told my fraternity brothers that I was going on a date with four women, they were jealous. But hey, I can only go home with one, so uh, maybe if they're lucky, I'll introduce them to the other three. A limited. In round one, I'm gonna take the girls to a place called the Monastery. It's in Phoenix. It's uh, kind of outside, recreational, bar. Just a place to have fun. I'm the luckiest guy in the world right now. I'm about to go on a date with four girls. Any guy in America would love to do this. I don't care about the other girls because the way I'm gonna focus on him, it'll be like they're not even there. I'm Tracy. I'm a communications major at ASU, and all this guy's gonna be communicating with today is this. Nice to meet you. Nice to I'm meet Tracy. You. Tracy? Yeah. My name's Luke. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I moved here from New York about eight months ago, and I believe that can help me a lot today with just being very competitive at nature. I'm Kathleen. I'm a preschool teacher, and I'm also a full-time student at ASU. Hello. Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm Luke. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. When Kathleen came out, I mean, she's beautiful. She's tall. She has beautiful eyes. When I enter today, these girls don't know what they're in for. I'll show them what real competition is. I'm Melissa, and I'm a retail manager at a massage oil store. I'm Melissa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Melissa. Hi. Kathleen. Kathleen. Nice to meet you. Tracy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Melissa's really cute. She's spunky. She, you can tell there's a lot to her. On this date, I brought a shot because I know that's the way to any guy's heart. I'm Laura, and I'm a broadcasting major at ASU. And I think one of the most important things I've learned is how to party all night and still get up early for class. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Laura. Um, what did you bring me? I just brought two shot glasses. Oh, we're not going to so. share? I'm sorry. Okay. When Laura came in, uh, she had a bottle of spiced rum, and little did she know that's uh, one of my favorite drinks, and uh, that was pretty cool. Go for it. Oh, I'll do it with you. After Laura said that she only had two shot glasses, it, it didn't keep me from drinking out of her bottle. It doesn't bother me. I thought it was sort of rude when Tracy, like, just grabbed the bottle and started drinking it. I mean, I did say that I only had two shot glasses, and that was for me and him. Here we are. Wow. Today in round one, I'm going to try to find out if any of these girls can click off their heels, you know, relax, have a beer or two, and uh, just hang out like one of the guys. So Melissa, what do you uh, what do you do? I work at a store called Lotions and Potions. What's your favorite potion? Oh, I don't know. Probably we have good massage lotions, good massage oils, all that fun stuff. So we make all that stuff. So what do you do? I'm a preschool teacher. Preschool teacher? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so what do you do? I do nothing. You do nothing. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a student at ASU. Yeah. Yep. That's something. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's I'm a student too. Now. Are you? Yeah. Are you a student? I am a broadcasting major. Oh, wow. What are you? I'm doing with them, too. Is that right? Are you in a I don't know. Do I look like a fraternity guy? Laura seemed like the typical sort of girl. Definitely didn't have a, you know, a thought in her mind. Just wanted to party, have fun. When I date a girl, I like to be romanced. And uh, so I decided to ask them how they'd romance me. So, um, I was just wondering, um, if we're out in a public place like we are now, how, uh, how would you like a little romance? So been going out for a while. So been going out for a couple times. Where are radius? Oh. Access radius? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, well, I would go up um, under the stage, you know, where they have up on the balcony. Mm -hmm. And I would dance for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, mean, I love dancing. I think I have the time of my life. What would you do to like romance you? Romance you? Well, I'm not a type of person that likes to show like public display of affection. So I'd probably just do this. 
Oh yeah? And tell you that I can't wait to get home with you later on that night. So <laughs> that's what I do. Cool. But so not so much for the public. No. Tracy kind of contradicted herself when she said she doesn't like uh, public displays of affection because uh, when she whispered in my ear, she felt a little tongue. I felt like I was watching a live porno. I mean, that was disgusting. I want to get to dinner, have a nice dinner, go for a walk maybe to the park, sit down on the picnic, look at the stars, talk to each other, get to know each other. That's my deal. Kathleen said she likes uh, more romantic dinners and walks and stuff. I think that was kind of the best answer because uh, that's the way I'd kind of go. Would you like hand massages? Do I like hand massages? Yeah. Exactly. Where? Who doesn't like hand massages? Yeah. <laughs> no massage on Where your hand. Where are we talking? Wow, Melinda. Wait, let me, <laughs> let me give you one. Yeah. See, I mean, if I had lotion, oh, okay. it'd be different, but I was just going to massage your hand, not actually give you a massage your body. But if I had some lotion, you know, I'd, I'd rub you up and down all your arm. Well, when Melissa said, let me give you a hand massage, it just seemed a little too direct and a little too forward to me and a little too much of the trying. We're going to do some, uh, move on to some bar stool racing. Mm -hmm. uh, if any of you guys heard about it. Oh, you, you heard about it? Oh, yeah. The reason why I came to the monastery is because they have bar stool racing, and I want to know if these girls have what it takes to uh, get on some bar stool and do some racing. Yeah. Wow, Kathleen and the bar stool, I mean, hello, the show is about Luke, not the bar stool, so she should not be humping the bar stool. I think Kathleen enjoyed uh, being on the stool a little bit too much, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, you're going to run! Oh my god! You gotta be smarter than the average. You know, bar stool races. Tracy, she probably can't see her hands from her eyes. I mean, there's a lot in the way right there. After the bar stool races, uh, I thought the girls were a little tired, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity, to kind of digging in their heads a little bit. You want to sit here? Oh, oh, you, oh, you got a little two-seater, huh? Yeah. Yes. Oh no! Uh, when we actually uh, sat down for the last part of it, um, Laura immediately, we all got to go to different bar stools. Immediately she sat down with them. But again, that just shows that she's throwing herself at him. It's just her pathetic way of trying to win him over with this cutesy thing. When I pulled Luke over to the bar stool, I mean, that was the second time I got him close to me. And they were so jealous because all they could do there is sit there and watch. Well, it's coming down to the wire with all you guys. Um, I don't know if uh, it's really tough, really super tough. If I had to, if you were giving me advice. At the end of the round, I had a really hard time deciding whether uh, I should cut one or the other, so I decided to see, see what they thought. You know, it can't just go on like whatever we say, so, you know, do what you feel like doing. I would have to say Lauren just because she just tries way too hard. She's too, you know, oh, pick me, I'm sweet, I'm sassy, I'm... Actually, I'm not trying that at all, oh, sorry. So, I don't know, that's my perspective. Um, I would probably have to say that I would probably think that you should eliminate Lara also. I'm sorry. Yeah, it just it's seems like, like that me. she, I mean, she can't like do her own thing. She needs to sit with you the whole time, you know. She I'm sorry, I have the like, courage to ask him to come sit with I found it strange that they all said Laura because, uh, I mean, gets you trying too hard, but uh, kind of thought that's what this is all about. I find it funny that I'm trying too hard since you were sucking his ears. I didn't oh, even have to get wait, physical. I didn't suck the ear. I did. I did suck the ear. I yeah. sucked the ear. Oh, you know what? Hey, yeah. it's so good, yeah. girl. There we go. Don't I'm gonna try that again. Trying too hard. I'm not gonna physically throw myself at him because if I do that, then I must not have tact to get him any other way. So I'm gonna. Try I don't to need get tact. Him Look at me, sweetheart. My body. Look at me, Look at baby. Me too. I don't need to throw oh, myself wow. at him. I have a brain. I have a mind. I have feelings. I got straight A's in school, sweetheart. So do I, I got a brain. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? what? I have what a brain and I have a 4.0. I can look you straight in the eye and have a conversation with you. Her? Oh, uh, she can't even look at you when she's talking to you. I'm looking right at you, baby, right in your eye. Coming up, who will Luke cut first? I think Luke is going to cut Laura because he wants someone sexy, not cute. I think Kathleen should get cut because I don't think she's really in the spirit of the competition. I think Luke will eliminate Kathleen because she was way too much into herself and also the bar stool. I would not be surprised if Luke cut me first just because I don't think our personalities match and I just don't think that we're right for each other. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Luke will eliminate first? Laura, Kathleen, Melissa, or Tracy? Well, guys. I had a really good time all day today. Um, you guys were a bunch of fun, all you guys. You guys are all awesome. 
just had a great time. But unfortunately, the name of the game is uh, Eliminate, so one of you's got to go. And even though it pains me deep down inside because we had so much fun today, it's going to be Melissa. I'm sorry. Right. We didn't really get enough time to talk. And I asked you a couple of questions, and you kind of copped out. Well, it was fun. Thank you. I had a good time. <laughs> sorry. I would just say, Luke, you made a big mistake. You definitely think I can have fun with the guys. I definitely can. I'm definitely a good time. So, you know, you lost something fun, but that's all right. I had to call Melissa because it just seemed like the other girls were a little more interested in me and kind of, she just wasn't really kind of fighting for this tape. Not really excited about it. You should have cut Melissa. You should have cut Kathleen because she is a complete bitch. I think Luke has um, an interesting evening ahead. I definitely think it's going to be very um, catty, I'm sure. In round two, we stayed at the monastery, and the first thing we did was shoot the pool. Since this was my date, and my date to go out with four women, I thought it'd be kind of fun to play a little game of truth or dare. Since it is my little thing, I'll just start off with a uh, little large. OK, Talk dare me. Double dare, dare me. Double dare you? <laughs> Stand on this pool table without hitting your head on that fan and dance like you said you would have at Radius to uh, get that guy. Huh? You said it. <laughs> to this music? Yeah, we got music. We got music. And you got to dance to the music. All right. When Laura got up on the pool table to dance, um, I was expecting to see a really good dancer. I mean, she said what a good dancer she is. And she got up there, and she looks like a little kid trying to do a two-step. She's got no rhythm, and she does not know what dancing is. I think Luke enjoyed my um, pool table dancing. Just a little more yeehaw than the ooh, I'll romance you. But a little yeehaw? A little too yeehaw. You get up here and dance to this music. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a little too Might be a little big. Too. You're next since you did your dare. Do you want a truth or dare? Oh, I'll go for that dare. OK. Let's go. All right, bring it on. Kathleen had a little rougher situation because she's taller and uh, there wasn't a lot of room either. But uh, hey, she was a good sport and she went out there and danced a little, a little harder with I think she should be dancing somewhere else. Oh, oh yeah? Well, why do you think she should be dancing? When I saw Kathleen dancing like that, I was this close to handing her a dollar bill. Truth or dare, I'm going yet. Um, I'll change. Well, let's be Tracy. Tracy was the only one to choose truth. I mean, she, I think she was trying to get out of a dare. What do you think his best quality is and why do you think that you should get him above everybody else, truthfully? I think because I'm more outspoken and I'm being pretty much my own self and I'm not acting for the cameras. That's truthfully my answer. Just being yourself? Yeah. I think she was very fake in the fact because the whole night she's been playing games and playing the, oh, I'm sweet, and you know, sticking the chest out and trying to get his attention. And to me, that's just doing exactly what she says isn't right. How about we uh, drop this pool and drive our coats and go listen to some Let's music? Check out the <laughs> At the table, I was shocked because Tracy, you know, went out and asked the same question that Kathleen asked and kind of tried to get her back. But I'd like to know, honestly, truthfully, why you think you're better than both of us. Us. Why I'm better than you? It's gonna put me to the test. Um, it's a tough question. Yeah, you're right. It is a very tough question. And I think I'd have to say the same thing just because I'm very dedicated to what I want. I think Kathleen's intimidated by me. I don't know if she's jealous of me, but she sure um, comes up with the same answers as I do all the time. What do you think about that, Laura? I don't know. I just see, I see a bad character in you. And I don't know. Yeah. I just what you're giving me, what I perceive. Um, so what do you think about her? What, what does she perceive? Like, what do you kind of character do you think? Um, Laura seems to be the type of person who will say and do anything that she thinks somebody else wants to hear. When Laura said that Kathleen had a bad character, that's one thing that I do agree with Laura on. When Laura started to diss me as far as judging me based on character, I think that it's just because she sees everything that she wants to be in me. Who will Luke cut next? I think Laurie is going to be the one who eliminated just because I think he might be tired of her pretty girl little routine. Well, I sure hope he cuts that crazy bitch from New York. Please have mercy on some of us and cut her out of here. Go back to New York. Kathleen should get cut because she's really snotty and stuck up. Eliminate. <laughs> who is Luke going to eliminate next?
Tracy, Laura, Kathleen. One of you lovely ladies is gonna have to go. It's not really my fault, but uh, you know, everyone's awesome. You guys are really fun. I've had a great day, but you know, the name of the game is Eliminate, so one of you has to go. And um, sorry to say it kills me, but Laura, you gotta go. You're super sweet and super nice. I'm just not really sure if uh, we connect as well as I would have. But um, I had a good time. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. I am completely shocked that Luke picked those two bitchy, shallow girls. Bye bye, Laura. I'm happy to see Laura gone because she just annoyed me to no end. Uh, Luke, I do want my shot glasses back. All day, the girls and I worked up a huge appetite. Here at the monastery, we gotta do it ourselves. So in round three, I decided to cook up some burgers and chicken with the girls at the grill. On the top of the round, we uh, got some more cocktails, and we started grilling our food, and uh, we started talking about sex. Well, in the bedroom, what's the most sexiest, you know? What, seems like, what do you think turns that guy on? No, for me, to be sexy is to be just slow, be real soft. Um, kind of right, wearing the right outfit might do it too. Now what kind of outfit would you wear? Mm, probably your birthday suit. When Kathleen said that she wears a birthday suit in the bedroom, first of all, that's not very sexy. I mean, I used that word when I was like maybe five years old. Tracy, what would you wear? I would wear probably a small, like little pair of panties and one of those like little, um, like tight little tank tops. Tracy said she likes to wear tight tank tops and uh, tight bikini bottoms, but um, I mean, you can see that on Baywatch. I'm just a really sexual, sensual person, and I know how to touch a guy. Um, I know how to work a guy. I just know how to turn a guy on. Is that right? Mm -hmm. How about you, Kathleen? What do you, what do you, what would you do? Um, I think I would turn the lights down low, put on some soft music. I'm into candles. So I just fill the entire room with candles. And like I said, kind of hang myself all out there because I'm not afraid of it and I'm willing to show it to you. After talking to these girls about sex for a while, I came up with my own opinions about what they're lacking in the bedroom. But what I really wanted to know was what each one thought about the other was lacking in the bedroom. I don't think she'd be completely absorbed in a guy, I think. It wouldn't be a two-person thing. I think it would be all her. If I would have to give uh, Kathleen one word for her personality in the bedroom, it would be missionary. I don't think she would have a, a crazy uh, crazy side to her. Maybe fake her orgasms a little bit. Is that right? <laughs> Why is that? Just it just baby. seems kind of like, just like a withdrawn, like more like um, straight-edged person that doesn't have much um, experience. When Tracy came at me with faking orgasms, obviously she knows what it's like to fake an orgasm or she wouldn't have said it. And secondly, as far as experience, if you need a lot of experience to know what love is about, well then I'm sorry, but you're a whore. Will it be Kathleen or Tracy? Luke's final cut is next. A limit day. This is probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. But you know, I, it's the name of the game and you know how it works. So, um, the one to have to go, I'm sorry to say, it's Tracy. Oh. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. But I can see why a lot of people want to go out with you and you're an awesome person. So, okay. sorry. But That's I had a cool. really good time. That's cool. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Luke chose the wrong girl because he will never hear from her again. Um, Tracy, my advice to you would just be to be more confident about who you are and not what you have, and just to be yourself, because if you push too hard, guys are not just going to like it. Well, I guess I'm still free, so any guys out there that would like to take me on a date and appreciate me for who I am, give me a call. <laughs> I think you have a good choice.